There's multiple tiers of different weapons in the base vanilla Minecraft which we can utilize, mainly in the form of different swords as well as tridents, but there's not really much of a variation or a selection for us to choose from in the base game, and things can get quite boring. So let's take a look at a list of 10 different mods which adds brand new guns to the game to make Minecraft way more exciting. The Timeless and Classics mod is an add-on to the Mr. Crayfish Guns mod which currently adds a multitude of brand new arms and ammo inspired from classic weapons found throughout modern history. All the models in this add-on are from a good friend of the creator who collaborated on the project, so do check out the images and the footage to see that. The current roster includes the M1911, the M1894 which is a leather action cowboy rifle, the M1851, the Tommy Gun, the Mosin Nagant rifle, the AK-47 and 74 variants, the M60 LMG, the M16A1, the Glock, the M29F, the DP28 LMG, the Police Honey Badger, the Uzi, the Vector 45, the M16, the Double Barrel and many more. Now the reason why this is so cool and the fact that it integrates with Mr. Crayfish is you can use the full on attachment system which is part of the Mr. Crayfish's mod. This means that all of the pre-existing Mr. Crayfish gun mod attachments actually work flush with these weapons too which you can put on top. The only downside is the attachments textures haven't been changed so they don't really fit in so well with the visuals of these weapons. For an example you might have a black gun with a grey scope and a grey silencer which looks kind of strange in game. It's pretty cool though that you can have a full attachment system and the models of the guns look exponentially good. I'd say this is probably one of the top gun mods in terms of the quality and 3D look that you'll find in Minecraft because everything doesn't look insanely blocky or 2D sprites like the majority of the mods you will find are. The weapons in here are very high quality, the animations are really nice, there's an actual recoil system which is a little bit too high at times although it's still really nice as an addition and there's also even muzzle flares when you actually fire the weapons which adds for more of a realistic look. As you can see I'm just showcasing the attachment system right here which is really nice. There's a range of different short, medium and long range scopes and you can add these onto nearly every weapon. The shotgun even has an extremely large range and as you can see has a lot of kick to it. This is a really nice weapon mod with a huge load of different pieces to the collection which makes it extremely fun. This mod is a new mod for 1.17.1 which has inspiration from many other old style weapon mods like tech guns. There's also huge inspiration here from Doom, Team Fortress 2 and many fast paced and classic FPS games. It's basically a simple, very detailed gun mod for fabric which has a lot of pleasant, interesting, non over detailed weapons which are very high quality and intuitive. It adds a huge new class of weapons inspired from all these games. You may be familiar with some of these for an example the sniper which comes from TF2 and a few of the other weapons which are introduced from other game franchises too. The models themselves are fairly simple which are made in JSON format and they're not over modelled and they actually fit into the game's art style rather well to say that it strays completely from the mechanics of the original game which doesn't usually have guns. The overworld is also patrolled by gun armed villagers, sneaky illager spies with golden guns like in James Bond and huge giant techno demons which spawn inside the nether which is very distracting but also a very refreshing unique feature. As you can see all the weapons are unique in their own right and they have quite a kick to them. The animations of the weapons themselves are also really cool. For an example when you fire the different revolvers the actual chamber spins in real time to show you that it's actually firing. There's also small blocks like fuel canisters which are flammable and explosive as well as a gun modification workbench which has multiple recipes for the ammunition and the different arms inside the mod which lets you craft it from pre-existing vanilla materials, for an example diamonds, fireworks and more. The mobs are also pretty cool and they have interesting AI, but you have to be careful because they are actually extremely powerful. There's mobs which spawn in the desert, taiga, forests and snowy biomes which are variants for all the different mobs I'm showcasing. The Hunt is a Minecraft mod which is based on the act of hunting which was in early alpha stages during the releases as it's quite an old mod. Not all of the features had yet been implemented but there's some pretty cool range of features here. It offers a variety of different three dimensional weapons to allow the player to hunt down mobs in the game like animals, monsters or other players. You can survive the world in a brand new way and increase food supplies by using the brand new deer mob which will spawn sporadically around the world which you can use the new knife sweat 
weapon to actually shear and get meat from when you shoot it. I'll show this as a demonstration a little bit later in the footage. There's also brand new trap blocks which can be placed down which are used to immobilize prey. For an example I use these on zombies to show you that it does actually snap up and freeze them in place. You can even hit the zombies or other mobs into another trap to trap them in a different place too. There's two different variants, there's a normal standard metal clap trap and then there's also a trap which poisons them over time which seems to work on animals but didn't really seem to work on normal zombies for me. There's also a range of different 3D weapons which are really cool too. You can explore a brand new biome which will lead you to new structures and the groups of deer nearby. These deer will run from the player and are super fast so it's best to choose the most suitable weapon for each range and situation as well as utilize the brand new traps when you can do so too. Structures can provide shelter when you explore the world and they contain loot and some chests are hidden inside these that contain better loot, although I'm not really showing these in this video. As you can see the actual snipers are pretty cool in terms of their system. They have a system where you can hold your breath just like in Call of Duty and they zoom in with a real scope. Bioshock is a really awesome game series which is extremely popular. This mod is based on the franchise of Bioshock which covers a series of different games from the first Bioshock to some of the more newer titles. There's quite abundant features in this mod which are contained inside. There's a few different weapons which are inspired by the Bioshock games which are mainly melee weapons which is not really the topic of this video although there is three different variants of the Bioshock pistol in the game too. As you can see I'm just messing around and performing these on mobs because it's actually pretty funny. Now we'll show you in a few moments the mobs which are actually in the game but there is actually a few different perk potions first of all which correspond to all the special abilities and skills inside Bioshock. When you drink these, these will give you perks in a very Fallout style fashion. It's pretty cool because you can buff your character this way by drinking all these weird strange potions. On the other side there's also some pretty cool mobs. For an example there's the Big Daddy which is that gigantic robot style mob from Bioshock which is pretty imposing. Snip's weapons mod is a very high quality weapons mod which has three dimensional models for all of the weapons and there's a huge big gigantic collection of them in this range too. The only complaint which I do have though is the fact that the recoil system is not very good and also the actual range of it is not very good either. For an example the mobs don't actually get hit unless you're super close to them because the bullets have some strange range which is based on the actual projectile which is fired from the weapon which is more of an arrow style to it. Different small and large arms in here here, such as the 74U, the PKP, the P30, UMP, MP5, FN Foul, M40, M16, SW1911 and AK74 and everything's contained in a custom creative tab which is easy to find. There's also some coloured armour sets which are mainly made for multiplayer environments which come in red, blue, green and tan. The Malugi's Conflict Pack is an extension pack for the Flans Mod 1.7.10 which is a pack that's currently relatively small but very functional and it's public pack with a huge big range of weapons with a fairly extensive weapon customization system. You can fully customize all of these weapons with a variety of different furniture options using the weapon customization table from the Flans mod which comes in the base mod itself. For an example you can do this via multiple different stocks and attachments onto the weapons. Of course the variety of weapons and attachments here will increase over the time as the creator adds more packs but it hasn't actually been updated for two years so it's fairly complete at this stage and you can expect no further updates. As you can see there is actually a wide wide range of different weapons which are based on the farm's base. One of my favourite game titles of all time is Halo Combat Evolved which is the first in the Halo franchise and this is a mod which is based off Halo Combat Evolved, the original Halo title. This isn't just a mod which adds content from the first game though however, it actually adds content from the whole Halo game series which is why you'll see battle rifle models from the more later titles in the franchise and you'll see weapons from the whole saga of Halo rather than the first game itself. For an example you have the sniper rifle, the shotgun, the classic 
fantastic Magnum, and you even have some vehicles here which I didn't cover like the Ghost or Halo armor sets that the player can actually wear. This is also really cool if you play it on Halo maps too. You can access the DMR, the Battle Rifle, the classic Halo 2 submachine gun, and huge big things like the Rocket Launcher or the huge LMG which is from the later titles like Halo 4 when you fight the Prometheans. There's some really cool pieces inside this collection and the MA5C assault rifle looks really amazing in terms of its model. What's interesting is the Elemental Guns mod is originally made by the original creator of the Lucky Blocks mod, and it adds a variety of different guns which each have special abilities which are based on the elements. Each weapon is unique and can do more than just fire at enemies, and they actually have purposes and uses to them. They're not only weapons, but also useful tools in the world. And they're also multiplayer compatible, so if you play on this version, you can have some pretty fun battles on multiplayer. From starting fires to putting them out, growing trees or making pigs fly, this mod is just generally fun, and if you're on creative mode you don't actually need to load them with ammo, which makes it pretty cool for testing or showcasing in a video like this, which can't be said for the same as mods like Flans mod which you need every single magazine in your inventory to use them, which was pretty annoying. Now you can see all these weapons are really cool, for an example the water gun still does damages to mobs, and if you hold it for long enough it actually places down water streams. The air gun shoots out a fire of air blast which hits mobs really far back and the earth gun shoots down blocks of dirt on the ground so you can actually create things like stairs or towers or just mold the ground around you which is really super cool. Now one other hidden feature inside the earth gun, if you fire at the ground itself it doesn't just shoot dirt blocks it also fires saplings. The Chrono Killers 3D Lightsabers and Blasters Plus mod is a general blanket mod for Star Wars which adds 36 brand new weapons as well as a jetpack item. There's loads of different weapons in here like the E11 Snow Blaster, the DC-15 Blaster, the DL-44, the Chrome version and Black, the Blaster Pistol for ELG-3A models, the DH-17, Cad Bane's pistol, double E3 blaster and the clone trooper pistol for an example. There's also models from Star Wars like the ML79 grenade launcher, the Wookiee bowcaster, the biker scout trooper blaster, the Z9 rotary minigun, the DC-15 sniper rifle and so much more. This is a huge big mouth load but you can just see in the background what they actually look like. Each different weapon model has a different range based on its projectile, a different colour of projectile, whether it's a hero or a villain weapon which signifies whether it's a blue or green projectile colour and so much more. Now features I didn't cover within this mod itself are the different ranges of lightsabers. Since this is actually a gun mods video and not a weapon mods video I didn't really see this fit to actually cover them themselves but I will just mention them slightly in the narration just so you know what's available. For an example there's 14 custom lightsabers in blue, green, purple, white, yellow colours and there's also Wookiee weapons as well as training sabers, the dark saber and a red lightsaber, plus a few different other colours like red, blue, green, yellow and white double lightsabers, as well as gaffy sticks and gamma re and guard axes from episode 6 Return of the Jedi. There's some really cool weapons inside here and generally if you want just more than guns and you want some Star Wars weapons like lightsabers, I download this mod and take it for a spin because there's some really cool features, just like this sniper here which you can use the iron sights for to actually see long range. This one is another content pack for the Flans base mod and it's a content pack that requires a modified version of Flans mod which actually comes in the folder itself so you don't have to worry about obtaining it. In order to install it you just install it the same way in the Flans mod folder like other secondary packs. This is the secondary creation of the creator themselves and it's a pack which adds weapons from the game Counter Strike Global Offensive which is possibly or arguably the most popular FPS game right now. Now there's some really cool things inside this pack. The sounds are not the creators, but they're ripped straight from the game files. As for the models, they're not actually straight from the game, they're actually completely custom. It's pretty cool just experiencing everything in this content pack, because everything's so functional. Of course you can see there is the Iron Sights feature which is part of Flans mod, but it's not really realistic to use this because in CSGO there's no Iron Sights on the actual weapons. You'll see all the weapons from the game itself, like the Deagle, the AK, the P2000, the USP, the Tech 9, 
just to name a few. Now each weapon actually functions exactly like they do in the video game itself, so it's pretty cool to replicate this. Even the AWP itself is extremely high powered and has the exact same weapon behaviour it does in Counter Strike. It's really cool to aim right into the distance with the scope and pop enemies in one shot. It's really cool and you'll see nothing like this in any of the Minecraft mod, which would make for a really cool multiplayer experience if you want to do battles with friends. Like I said, the Iron Sight system is super cool and it adds a fresh new system which isn't in the game, but it's not realistic or humble to CSGO. It's just pretty cool in the sense that it does add each and every single weapon, and the grenades themselves even bounce and have particle effects and a time just like they are in CSGO, which is super impressive. I be the show, make a room, shake it, shake it down. I be the show with a high profile. Everybody come on, we be the shakers with a crazy style. Showing everybody how to enjoy a crazy wild. Put time rocking to the sound, chilling women everywhere. I be the big down, swing at a hospital, super chicken. Baby, baby, come on, you better rockin' with me. I be the hot shot player from nowhere to my.